Sorry, part two, Pisces. All right. Yeah, when I was in middle school, um, I went through some pain and I, um, I, I didn't like to feel the mental pain. And so what I did was I gave myself physical pain and I would wear sweaters like this <laughs> and I would wear hoodies and I would cover up my body at all times because I didn't want nobody to see me because I was being molested by my stepdads. And so, um, I would, st I started cutting when I was in like middle school, I started cutting my arms and I would wear long sleeve, even if it was like 120 degrees outside. I would wear long sleeves. I nobody knew. Nobody knew until I was about I want to say like 19 or 20. Yeah, and I started cutting when I was like 16. So, um when I was about 19 or 20, that's when I I wore started wearing t-shirts and I would like wear um I never wore any kind of straps like or bathing suits oh no 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 you would not see bathing suit on me 111 as i said that these are goal these are things that i had to get above these are um whenever i was being molested it crushed my confidence it crushed my 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 feeling good about myself my everything about me i wanted to hide it i was i was hidden because i i felt very ugly i felt very um it is the pain the pain when when you're suffering from pain you do you feel very ugly okay now don't think that i'm cutting myself or anything because i'm wearing a sweater it's just i got the air conditioner behind me and i'm really fucking cold <laughs> no now i go to the lake i i go swimming i have um i have a pair of pants that i wear you know i wear pants because i don't like to show my legs because i got ran over but um I wear like these spandex pants and I'll go in my bra. If it's just me and my son or me and my friend or whatever, my daughter, I'll, I'll just go in my bra or I'll put a shirt on like I did yesterday and I'll just float in the water for whatever. And so I'm very secure with my body now. Okay. Because I learned to rise above that. I learned how to paradigm shift pain into power instead of pleasure. Okay. Because, okay. Go over there. Okay, instead of uh, shifting pain into pleasure, okay, because I associated pain with pleasure because of my childhood, I, I learned how to paradigm shift pain into power instead of pleasure. So I don't pleasure pain anymore. I learn from it and I use it to power things, to catapult me forward, okay? So we once we learn how to do that, I mean, and that's exactly what we're doing. And that's what people are seeing. And they're like, how? How do you do it, Pisces? How do you... How have you been through the shit that you have been through and you're still somewhat sane? <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Okay? I'm not... Exp I, I, I don't claim to be sane, okay? Nobody's perfect. I have to take a drink. Sorry, guys. Yes. So, um, Pisces, you're coming through very beautifully. Okay. Um, your angels are with you. You are going to be coming into a union. And I really feel like this union's already taken place in the spirit realm. Okay. This, this union has already taken place in the spirit realm and that's what's bringing it down to this 3d. And that's why you have angels all around you, Pisces, all around you, temperance and judgment. Yeah. You have angels all around you. Also, Pisces, you could have lots of Scorpio in your chart right now. You're going through a very big transformation. Um, also, I'm seeing here that you are probably being stalked and misjudged at work. Okay. Um, oh, oh, I didn't mean to turn her right side up. Okay. So, Pisces, the, the people that are also wishing ill will on you or hurting you, you pray for your enemies. And the power of your prayer is very strong. And it's because you don't want anybody out there that's in the uh, Queen of Pentacles reverse to hurt anybody like they have hurt you or your family or so forth. So your power of prayer is actually turning this person's life around. Yes, it is. 444 on the clock, as I said, that confirmation. That's beautiful. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes. And, and, and you're, you're stopping, you're like, you're nipping this chaos in the butt 
at, 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 at everything you do, everything. I'm hearing small town, lots of talk. And then also I'm hearing at your job, your family, you're, you're just leading by example. And I did have the Leo card bottom of the deck here and I got justice. Okay. And then I also have the King of Wands. So we got the King and Queen of Wands here. Okay. We got the King and Queen of Wands, but as you can see, they're not looking at each other. They're really focused. And this is the, this is the twin flame. They're really focused on their job. Okay. They're, they're standing in their own power. They're not hiding anymore either. Pisces, you're not hiding anything anymore. Like if you don't like me or the way I do things, then there's the door because I'm perfectly happy being just me and I don't have to answer to nobody. Five, five, five on the clock. As I said that Pisces, you probably were, um, when you get in a relationship, you would totally bend and change to whatever your spouse wanted you to be. Pisces is very flexible. We're very flexible. We're like fish, fish, you know, squirrel, squirrel. And, and we can adapt very well to all different levels of pressure of the ocean, ocean, ocean. Okay. We can adapt to all different levels and pressures. Yeah, you're and I'm, somewhat sane. <laughs> I'm somewhat sane. My son said, anyways, so Pisces, you are adapting. You are able to adapt. So when back in the day, when you used to get with somebody, you would change for your, your mate. Okay. No, if you don't like me for who I am, when we get together or, but I mean, before we get together, then you need to slam on them Winston breaks and you need to go look for love somewhere else straight up because I'm not changing my ways no more for nobody. If my freaking reading candle flames and my power of prayer of protection 707 on the clock, as I said, that one is too much for you or my exorcism prayers are just too much for you to handle because they irritate the shit out of your demons. Then you need to go take that shit somewhere else because I'm here to do my job. I'm here doing me. And if what I do for my spirituality scares you, and you don't, and, and you seem to think that I'm toxic or evil. No, that just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I'm sorry. Okay. So Pisces, you're learning how to be yourself. Either your divine masculine or your divine feminine likes it or not. You guys are not even looking at each other. You're looking the opposite way. And I'm really feeling it's because where is it? Where is it? Where is that? You're planting seeds of wish fulfillment and you're very psychic very intuitive so you know exactly what you need to do you know your purpose you know why you're here 808 on the clock as i said that you know your purpose yes and this is what you were called to do you are called to stand on that pedestal pisces you were called to be a leader okay you could also have lots of leo in your chart as well so you are called to take this power role and, 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 and just transform yourself and let everybody lead by example. Let everybody see you transform. So then everybody else could follow suit. That's what I'm hearing. And you don't, you're not doing it to change anybody. You're actually doing it to focus on your spirituality and your gifts. But God is giving you a very strong message of let the world see you change. Let the world see you transform Pisces. That's the message today. Let the world see you transform Pisces. Okay, I'm gonna do water signs. Okay, so we're gonna do Cancer next. Let's see what Cancer's got. Okay. Let the world see you roar. Pisces, you also could have very nice hair. Yes, because if you have a lot of Leo in your chart, you got a nice mane. Yeah, we're doing cancer next. I'm just picking up the cards here. Okay. All right. Cancerian. Cancer. Cancer. Let, what do we have for my cancers? Hold on. Let me put my hair back. Now I'm starting to sweat because I'm working. I'm working. Getting those energetic juices flowing. Oh my gosh. My hair's a hot mess. Yeah. Um, also, Leos really care about what their, their manes look like. I don't know what it is. I have a lot of Leo in my chart too, by the way. But um, yeah, it's just your, 
your main is your is your main <laughs> pride. yes your main is your main pride yes so you so that's what i'm saying like pisces you you probably have a lot of leo in your chart okay all right so what do we have for my cancers my lovely cancers i love my cancers my cancers where is my cancers at Please, Heavenly Father, protect me and guide me. Cover me in the blood of Jesus. Allow me to be a seer of truth, love, light, and knowledge for my beautiful collective of Cancerians. Please do not allow any toxic, negative, or demonic energy to come through me or my cards at any time. And I humbly say these things in your blessed name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Let's follow the Son of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Cancer. Ooh, there's a new passionate beginning here with somebody very new that is on the internet watching you. Maybe there's um, also, I'm hearing, um, this is a very brand new person. This is not a person that you have met before, okay? Um, they're watching you, but they don't know how to come towards you and take a leap of faith with an offer, okay? Because, um, yeah, they, they're just like, should I? I'm testing the waters here. I'm, I'm putting one toe in the water. One toe in the water. What, baby? After you're done with your reading, can we call Penny and see how old your kids are? Yeah. I want to see what, cancer. uh... I want to oh. see if they're like a cancer or... or something. I'm going to put that back in the deck because, um... The, uh... It was in my little shelf here. So I'm going to put that back in the deck, but what is stopping this cancer from reaching out? This is also for single cancers, okay? This is a single cancer reading. I do not read for married cancers um, trying to cheat on their husbands or anything like that. So that's toxic shit. I don't do that. Yeah, single cancer, um, you need healing. Before you reach out to this person, you need healing, okay? Yeah, because the seeds that you're planting at this time... Um, the milk's gone bad okay seeds have gone bad um there is something here too about some kind of abuse um cancers you could have been being abused okay yeah there's also some very um demonic energy regarding uh what you've been through like you are being attacked you are being attacked by by a lot of evil toxic forces Okay, so Cancer, I would I would highly recommend that you um, seek some help, some professional help. All right. Um, also, what else do we have for Cancer? What's some advice, please? What is some advice? Yeah, see, someone's trying to trap you, Cancer. All right, someone's definitely here trying to trap you in maybe a relationship. And um, this person's also um pretending to be your soulmate or something and, and keeping you stuck and bound to them by saying oh i'm your soulmate or oh i'm your twin flame but no it's not it's a false flame there's a false flame aspect here okay yeah you're you're being guided to um walk and leave this person out in the cold okay um your angels are telling you please move forward make that decision let me tell you something, okay, Cancer? All right, let me put the cards down. This one's making me want to smoke. When, when I was in a very abusive relationship, and this was probably about a year ago, okay? Um, I stuck around for all the wrong reasons, okay? Um, and it was because... I, I wanted to see my son. I just, I, I was in this relationship with this guy, Darren. We weren't married. We were hand fasted, but we were married in the spirit realm. And it's kind of hard for me to still shake his energy still to this day because we hand fasting is very powerful. Okay. Um, also I thought he was my divine. I thought he was my twin. I thought for sure this is it. This he's my twin. I found him. Finally, we had everything. We were like, twins we were so in common but if somebody can hit you 
or hurt you physically, mentally, or emotionally, or, you know, have very toxic ways about them like alcohol and over drinking and not being able to quit or say, hey, I'm wrong. Somebody that is very narcissistic and egotistic and can't say, hey, I, I messed up, I'm sorry. And not to mention that, but could beat you and mess your face up that they have to look into your eyes every day and be okay with a black eye being on your face or something like that. If you are with a person like that, then it is extremely karmic and you need to run, bitch, run, okay? Because that is not divine. 155 or it said 1555 on the clock because I said that. It is not a divine connection. And you need to get out of that connection as soon as possible. Maybe if you have a friend you can call or, or somebody that, you know, you can go over to their house and just sleep on their couch for a little while until you get on your feet, you know, something like that. Then that is the, that is the guidance and, and advice that you are being taken or being given to take right now. And I can also see that there's somebody on your social media or a social media platform that can help you. Okay. They can help you. They can help you get out of this situation, cancer. Now, this is not going to resonate for everybody, okay? Not every cancer is in a toxic ass relationship. I get that. So if you're not in a toxic relationship and you're not going through any of the things that I have said thus far, then please click off. This reading's not for you, and I will be doing another cancer reading soon, okay? But the cancers that I am talking about, um, this is... This is extremely karmic, and this is a false flame, okay? Um, nothing good is going to come out of this harvest. Nothing good is going to come out of this energy, and you need to evacuate extremely quickly, okay? Extremely quickly evacuate, because with this card, and with this card, and with this card, I'm seeing potential for crimes to happen, physical crimes to happen. I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to repeat it. I'm not going to put that vibration out in the universe, but you know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm seeing potential for physical crimes to happen. So, Cancer, with that being said, I want you to um, very quietly, okay? Now, don't let the person know that you are a leaving you know or that is abusing you do not let them know you have to put on a mask right now cancer and breathe in through your nose out through your mouth you need to put that mask on and you need to smile even if you have a black eye or whatever you need to smile and you need to tell the person that's beating you I love you we're gonna be together forever and we're going to go get some psychological help. And I promise everything's going to be okay. Here, here's like $20. Why don't you go to the store real quick? Get us some dinner. And as soon as they walk out that fucking door, boom, you take off. You start running, bitch. Run, bitch, run. Yes, that's what you need to do. I've been in this situation twice, okay? I think I know. And that is the only way that I was able to get out of there with my life still intact. All right, so that's what you need to do. That's what you're being guided to do, okay? Um, let's get an outcome for if cancer does decide to walk away and does decide to leave, okay? We're gonna we're gonna pull you some cards here. I'm, I'm here for you, cancer, and you know what? This has been keeping you up at night. I'm really feeling that you've had some sleepless nights. You don't know what to do. And I didn't know what to do in my situation either, cancer. I had no idea. One time... <laughs> Oh gosh, I don't know. If, I, I can't tell you this story because my son's right here, but something very bad happened to me in Arkansas and I was forced to go live off grid in the Ozark Mountains and I came across an abandoned trailer and I didn't know that it was owned by anybody. Needless to say, it was. And I was like at the point of melting snow and drinking it and fishing for little fish like this big in the, in the streams and the creeks. And, um, yeah, I was trying to survive and I did survive, 
until I met the owner of the trailer, the abandoned trailer that I was living in. Yeah. Needless to say, I had to escape that situation. And I tried to go up on the road with my bag and I was hitchhiking and I got picked up. Yeah, somebody pulled over. Somebody picked me up. I was like, thank you so much. Thank you for rescuing me. Thank you so much. And then all of a sudden he was like, hey, aren't you that girl that's staying down at the trailer down there? The abandoned I was like, yeah. And then and as soon as I said that, and flipped a bitch, turned around, went back and took me straight back to hell. Okay. So I had to tell the person, it's okay. I'm going to be with you forever. We're going to, we're going to be together. We'll get some counseling. It's everything's going to be okay. He, he had his family all throughout those hills and took me back. Okay. Like I couldn't escape. And I freaking, I told him everything he wanted to hear and I planned it out and I waited until it was a full moon night. Okay, because you could see everything in the full moon, and I had just a backpack. That's it. I just put on a, I had a buck knife, a backpack, a change of clothes, and a pair of warm clothes, and lots of socks. Lots of socks, cancer. And um, as soon as uh, I, I, I drugged him too, I gave him like three, what was it, three Tynol PMs or four Tynol PMs, something like that. And so, um, yeah, I did. I did that, and he was snoring. And so that was my, that was my go. I'm, I'm done. I'm gone. And I, I cut through the forest instead of taking the road, I cut through the forest and I followed the moon all the way to town. And we're talking like probably a good 20, 30 miles through forest. Yeah. But you know that if that's what you have to do cancer, then that's what you have to do. Okay. You need to find that inner lion, that inner strength. And you have to do what you got to do to get out of toxic karmic energies like that. You have to. All right. But if cancer does do this and makes this move, what is going to come in for cancer? Cancer does get away from this toxic uh, person. What is coming in for cancer? Thank you, spirit. Oh, oh, wish fulfillment. Being honest and loyal and standing in your power and being noticed as this very strong woman. Independence. This this screams independence, Cancer. Yes, this is also going to heal a bunch of, I'm hearing, past childhood traumas that you have deep rooted down deep inside. And that's why you you put up with this, with this abuse, um, this kind of abuse for so long. This is why you put up with this abuse for so long, Cancer. Because you have that deep rooted issues. But once you get away from this, I really feel like you're going to come into contact with a soulmate. Okay. A soulmate. And it's, it's going to be a soulmate. So this is a stepping stone soulmate. Now, could you be with this person forever? Absolutely. Yes, you could. Okay. Could you be with this person for a short while? Yes, you could. You could do that as well. And then, you know, and, but just take it as go with the flow cancer just go with the flow i really don't think you should be even interested in a relationship for at least a year or two for me to be completely honest because i got two swords right here yeah it's gonna take some time cancer for you to properly heal and get that strength and courage back um this could have really put a damper on your confidence as well okay so don't worry you're gonna be all right you need to just stop and breathe and like i said Put on that mask, baby, because this is the only time, this is the only time when I recommend for somebody to wear a mask, okay? You have to tell your abuser, okay, I love you. You have to look them in the eyes, and you have to win an Academy Award, Cancer. I love you. We're going to be together forever, and smile, and then as soon as they fall asleep, well, you can kick them in the butt on the way out, okay? No, I'm just saying, don't kick them. Don't hurt them, okay? Don't do that. Just just as soon as they fall asleep, yeah, you run, bitch, run, all right? Okay, Cancer. Also, please, Cancer, don't start drinking or using drugs, okay? Because I did that. That's what I did. I started using drugs. I started drinking. And trust me when I say, it just, it just prolongs the whole entire healing process. 
It does. It ru Thank you, Aiden. It ruins your life, Cancer. Do not drink or do drugs to try to make this whole situation better because it's only going to add more burdens to your life. It's not going to fix anything. It's not going to, and it's going to temporarily put a bandaid on it. Okay. But we need to feel it to heal it. Okay. Cancer, you got to feel it to heal it. All right. So yeah, we're going to turn this into a celebration of, I got away. I was successful at getting away and we're not going to overindulge or drink. Okay. So we're going to knock three times, lock that in. You are very divinely protected cancer and you do have the strength to cut any toxic bullshit out of your life. All right. You do have the strength. So just know that you do have the strength, Cancer. Excuse me, what, baby? I'm hungry. Okay, hold on. Mommy's just got to do Scorpio, and then we're going to be done. Yeah, and look. Strength and the Ace of Swords was just floating right over here. So um, you are being divinely guided at this time, Cancer, to have strength. Speak your truth. And just remember, God gives his toughest missions to his most powerful warriors. And baby, I know you're a warrior, especially if you're watching my channel. I know who you are because I know who I am and I know what I've been through. So if you're watching my channel and this is resonating with you, you are a powerful warrior. So know who you are, Simba. Know who you are. What was that? Okay. All right, Cancer, you want to go get, um, Aiden, you want to go get the steak and eggs out of the refrigerator, please? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, Scorpio, I just parted the deck and we got the King of Cups here. All right. And we got two of, <laughs> my son, we got two of Pentacles in reverse. All right, this is just parting the deck. This is just like a, a, a little glimpse reading before the, re oh, and we could be a little backwards. Yeah, because I almost shuffled my entire deck this way, this way, and this way, this way. So, yeah, we need to turn that frown upside down, Scorpio. All right, and start really um, thinking about thinking about self. I'm going to go with King of Cups. All right, um, this could very well be keeping you up at night, whatever's going on in your life right now, Scorpio. I'm also feeling, and I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I'm really feeling that you're learning a lot. Yes, you're learning a lot. And there's also some kind of, some kind of message or offer or something like that, that you're um, with the page of pentacles here. Yeah. And then we got king of pentacles upright on the bottom of the deck. All right, but yeah, like I said, this is really keeping you in your head a lot. All right, and then we also have the lover's card. So this could be doing, dealing with a lover. Um, there's some kind of um, unfulfilled um, karmic energy here that you have to go back and. You, yeah, baby, there's steak in there. Yeah, it's on the top shelf, sweetheart. Um, Oh, okay. All right. We'll have sausage and eggs then. Um, Scorpio. Yeah. There's some kind of, uh, very, uh, karmic lesson that you're being asked to go back and review because you missed something. You missed something here. And that's, that's what's stalling your healing at this time. Okay. I didn't set the deck either. I, sh that's why I'm able to just pull like that. I didn't set this deck before I started. Um, but if you do, like I was saying, okay, and I don't know why I'm being called to repeat this. If you shuffle like this, then you can set a deck for intentions before you get started with your reading. But if you simply pull like this, Scorpio, Scorpio energy judgment, or you pull like this, you know, you can't, you can't set a deck. That was relevant though. So I'm going to keep them. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. If you pull like that, you can't set a deck before you get started. You have to um, just put the deck on the table and wish them all around. You know, you got to do one of those old school tricks. Yeah. I started reading tarot like, I think I was like 20, how old was I? 23. It's when I was in the forestry. I got my first tarot deck and I didn't read tarot. I didn't um, read tarot actual tarot cards. I've read playing cards. 
like game playing cards. Yeah, I started out reading game playing cards. And I used to, when we were on Spike, we had nothing to do. So we would just play a bunch of games and stuff. And so um, when we were out there in the middle of the woods and stuff, I had so many messages coming through. And all of a sudden I just started shuffling like this. I didn't know, nobody taught me. I never watched a video or nothing. And I just would shuffle like this and whatever card would fly out, I would give the guys in my, my forestry crew messages. And they were like, how do you know that? With game cards, how do you know that? Like, it was cool. It was really cool. All right, Scorpio, a lot of is coming, a lot of things are coming to the light for you. Okay, what I'm feeling? Um, a lot of uh, the veil is being lifted so you can see. And this is changing and catapulting your will of fortune forward. Okay, yeah. There could be a pause for perspection um, regarding work right now. You're on like this pause mode. Okay. But I see here that you're coming through with the King of Wands. And I think it's because you have a bunch of people that are probably um, causing conflict for you at work. Or um, you just don't understand like where where is this negative uh, energy coming from at work. And you're trying to get down to the bottom. Of, I'm sorry, my cats keep playing with my dress. <laughs> All right. Um, you're trying to get down to the bottom of it. But there's going to be... There's going to be some um, light at the end of that tunnel. You're going to find out who these people are that have fake profiles. You're going to find out about these people that are stealing your content or, you know, um, or stealing out of your car. I'm hearing, oh my God, that's horrible. Or people that are lurking around your house. Hey, that's Robin. What? Lurking around our house. Okay, Aiden, hush. Um... Anyways, I don't put my business out there like that. I'm sorry. But anyways, um, yeah, so this could be very relevant, okay? Um, you're going to find out. You're going to find out who's who's trying to backstab you, who's trying to hurt you, because um, there is the sunshine here. So you got, you got balance. Balance is coming into play for you because I did have the moon card, but I think I put it back on the deck. I did have the moon card and it was in reverse. So yeah, things are coming to the light. Things are being illuminated and you have balance with the sun and the moon together. Okay. So there is a very strong, what? Where's the plates? Well, here's two bowls, but you got to wash dishes. I told you to wash dishes last night before you went to bed here. Sorry guys. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a very strong sense of balance being restored in your life. Okay, yeah, and you got, um, you are an earth angel here. You are an earth angel there, and I was just saying balance is being restored in your life with the, the moon and the sun. This is confirmation, okay, and maybe it did take some kind of tower moment and it hits you like a ton of bricks. Knight of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, things are moving very slowly. They're slowing down for you right now. That's what temperance is here to do is to um, Knight of Cups in reverse you. Okay, slow you down. Okay, don't move so fast. Take it slow. Take it easy. Breathe. It's going to be okay. All right? That's what I'm getting here. And God. God is God's the one that's bringing in this realization for you, this tower. This, um, are you going to glide like a dove in the midst of chaos? 333 or 3333 on the clock as I said that? Or are you going to allow your pain, okay, to cause more chaos so are you going to glide like a dove or are you going to glide like a dove or are you going to allow your pain that you went through to cause more chaos so Scorpio also you could be watching somebody online just saying you could be learning a lot from videos online um, you are in the midst of studying at this time, my little kitties. Look at my little kitties wants to say hi. Oh, I love these kitties. Yes, I do love these kitties. Yes, I do. You could also have lots of Scorpio or um, lots of Leo in your chart because my little kitties, my little um, Yoda, this is my Yoda. This is my Yoda. Okay, Yoda, you go down now. You could have lots of Leo in your chart because Yoda doesn't get on my table unless there's like some very strong Leo energy. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, the sun card. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Yeah. Um, there is going to be 
an end to this chaos okay with the death card and the five of wands in reverse there is going to be an end to this chaos we also have the devil in reverse and we have the seven of cups in reverse so the devil was trying to put illusions in front of you but um with the sun card here i'm really seeing that the devil has no um he has no power the devil has no power over you scorpio because god is here god trumps this energy okay and god brings in the tower and protects you all at the same time so if you're going through a tower moment in your life right now just know that you are very protected or you could have a pisces out there that is very protective over you just saying <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there because we're at 3544 and it's going to take forever to upload this video. You guys, please smash that subscribe button. Please subscribe, smash that subscribe button because the simple fact that once I get a thousand subscribers, I can start doing lives and I can sit on here for a whole hour opposed to 30 minutes because it takes like 10 hours for me to load one video. Well, maybe not that long. I'm not that deep in the country anymore. I'm kind of like outskirts of town now. I'm still in the country, but I'm outskirts of town. So um, go ahead and, <laughs> and smash that subscribe button for me and hit that thumbs high so I get put in the algorithm on your videos. Um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, one of my videos went completely viral. I got like 2.9. I'm almost hitting 3,000 views. And I only got like, I think, five likes on it. So I'm like, why is everybody watching my stuff and not liking it okay so please don't forget to hit the thumbs up um the like button if you subscribe to my channel I'm, i do appreciate it i'm a single mom and i've never been a stay-at-home single mom i've always worked two jobs so i've always worked my butt off so i do have a lot of capricorn in my chart and so yes i am a workaholic um, but this way, you know, staying home, doing YouTube videos, I'm able to interact with my son and be with my son a lot more. And I haven't been with my son in the last three years. So trust me when I say mommy does not want to get a job. I want to stay home with my son. Okay. So please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. We need to hit a thousand subscribers. And I do have something really special planned for you guys. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I can't wait to tell you. I'm so bad when it comes to surprises. I just want to tell you so bad, but I can't, I got to wait. So I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to um, subscribe. So then you can see my next video and I love you so much. God bless. Bye.